But moving on to the next story, we have none other than the little baby who has caused all of us to just be mad at the internet and mad at her all over again. Since she was nine, she has been stepping on our necks with absolute nonsense, and somehow we still watch her. I'm talking about Lil Tay and her antics that have yet again proven something hilarious. Well, this case, she, she actually may be telling us the truth, but here's what happened. At the beginning of the week, uh, a message went out saying that Lil Tay, who is an influencer who pretty much everyone hates because she looks Asian and she keeps calling people the N-word and she keeps flexing money at nine years old, lying about all of these houses that she owns, only for all of us to find out that it's actually her parents who own these houses. Well, they actually are real estate um, brokers and real estate people and therefore they do sell these houses. And so we're kind of like, baby girl, you're nine years old. Why do you need to flex with a house and a car? Anyway. Since then, people have continued to hate on her, and this has become her brand. But earlier on in the week, a post was put out on her social media, and unfortunately, the post was very disconcerting for most of us. And this is what it said. Um, on her Instagram, this particular message was left across. It said, It is with a heavy heart that we share the devastating news of our beloved Claire sudden and tragic passing we have no words to express the unbearable loss and indescribable pain this is coming um from an entire this is coming entirely unexpected and has left us in shock her brother's passing adds more to the unimaginable depth depth of pain and grief during this time of immense sorrow we kindly ask that you you give us privacy to mourn and yada, yada, yada. And then she said that the message finally says Claire will forever remain in our hearts and her absence will be irreplaceable and all of that. And so that was the message that was put up on our socials. No one responded to anything. No one said anything after that. Her father was very difficult to find in terms of an interview and questions. No one was really giving any information until then she posted that particular message on her social media saying that she's entirely traumatized because for the past 24 hours when she found out that she and her brother were apparently dead that's the message i want to make it clear that my brother and i are actually alive and um they're feeling very traumatized by all of these stories, yes. Um, but I am completely heartbroken and struggling to even find the right words to say. It's been a traumatizing 24 hours. So all of us are like, wait, what happened? So you're not dead, you're alive, what's going on? Anyway, she continued to say that a third party had actually broken into her social media account and posted this message. And she is very happy that Meta has allowed for her to be able to seize back her account and so on and so forth. Do I think this is still clout for absolutely no reason? I absolutely do. Is it possible that she actually did get someone hacking her account and using it to spread a weird rumor? Possibly. I don't know. I wouldn't put it across any of her gang members or whatever she calls them. So that's the story of Lil Tay. She's not dead. She's alive. She and her brother are fine. All is well. Her account was hacked.